and in 1933, somehow you ended up on top of the Empire State Building with a big monkey. <laughs> How did that ever happen? Well, you see, I was, but I left RKO, I mean Warner Brothers, and went to RKO because the guild had come in and everything was in chaos. The whole picture business was in chaos. So I went with the group that left Warner Brothers to go to RKO. And Ginger Rogers, uh, they had signed up Ginger Rogers, and her mother saw me in the rushes, and she said to the producer, get rid of her. She looks too much like Ginger. I don't want her in any pictures in this studio. So he called me in and he said, why don't you just take a little vacation? <laughs> so I went to Canada and spent you know, the whole summer there, and I got back. And I'm walking in the studio, and three men just ran up to me and said, oh, yeah, let's take this, come on in to the stage here. I think you'd be perfect for this. And so they went in, and they ran a, a, a King Fabre on the top of the Empire State Building. And the, the picture was so bad that they had to retake it, and they couldn't get Fabre. So they said, well, I think she, I think she, can you do what she did up there? And I said, sure. So they dressed me up, and I looked just like Fay Ray. I really did. And I got up on the State, Empire State Building. It was only nine feet tall, just this big. See, climb it's up really, there. I've been to New York. It looks a lot bigger. Yeah, just, just this, a little thing, you know, just about like this. And uh, so I got up there and I did all the things again. I only worked three hours. Now I'm famous for King Kong. <laughs> 